didn't know these existed. There are at least two companies, or makers or something, creating robots. Large robots. Large <laughs> battle-style robots. Basically, mechs. We can just call these mechs. Mech warrior, that's basically what we're going for here. We're at that point, people. This is the future. And to the point where you're like, that's awesome, but almost not even batting an eye that it exists. We're like, of course it exists. We have, like, automatic cars and stuff. Uh, welcome to Back to the Future 2. Uh, you don't have the hoverboard. We have everything else you ever wanted in 2015. But anyways, so, so first of all, we have the company uh, Megabot MK2, uh, and uh, they're actually uh, a, a great video with them wearing American flag capes and fire going off behind them and everything. But they have a big robot that looks like they really retrofitted this onto um, some work equipment with treads and everything. There's giant, uh, I'll see if I can skip ahead here for you guys on video. Um, they, it, it's retrofitted with giant paintball guns, like Gatling paintball guns. And, uh, and it looks freaking serious. It actually takes two people to op operate. There's actually an operator and a gunner in this thing. It's ridiculous. So, and there's some shots there of it just destroying cars with paintballs. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, there is uh, another company, and I will not pronounce it right, so we'll just leave it at that. It's Japanese. The Karatis. It is uh, a one-man operated, and like I said, this one reminded me of the Iron Man even more so, right? Like, he's sitting in there. I mean, this looks like the behemoth at the end of uh, Iron Man 1, to a point. Uh, this is real. So, so basically, a Megabot, the paintball gun guys, um, oh, and the, and, the, and the Japanese one actually shoots, um, not beanies, um, um, what was the one? The Red Rider from, uh, uh, what do they call it? BBs. BBs, yeah, like just serious BBs, right? Like the, like plastic or metal? I think metal. I, I don't, I'm not sh entirely sure, but, but it's a little more <laughs> lethal, I think. Uh, but, uh, so, so they were challenged, and it was a Japanese company, and they accepted the challenge with the caveat that, uh, uh, no guns. They want melee. Because the guy, the Japanese guy, he's like, well, big guns, that's such an American thing to do because you put big guns on everything. Uh, I want to beat your metal into the ground. <laughs> what are they... Now, what does the winner get? Is this like... Uh, I, know, I, I don't think there's anything other than bragging rights at this point. I figured it was going to be like Fast and Furious. They're battling for pink slips. <laughs> I, I want to see winner takes all the robots home. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That would be great. But you got to think, they spent all this time making a robot. Now they have to destroy it I mean, and i think that i thought that was part of the the japanese thing was they were reluctant because they didn't this was the isn't it the first one yeah it probably i, I read somewhere it's like it's like the first one they've actually completed so for it to get destroyed potentially destroyed it's the, it's their only one look there's tests in there with like the hand that works and everything mm -hmm. this is incredible so are they going to modify great. the ones then? I, I think they don't they, look like they're really meant for hand to hand. No, combat. no, no. I, and I think, um, well, they have a year to do this. Um, okay. They say we will meet in one year. It very is like a movie at this point. It's it's incredible. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah, th I mean, this is this is apparently for real. We have robots. We have mechs. Um, and I don't even know what to say about that at this point. It's just incredible. Uh, but. Uh, there you go. I mean, they were like battle bots. Well, that's on like NBC or something now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of caught me by surprise because I remember it being the thing that like Mick Foley hosted on Sci Fi Channel back in the day. And, uh, but hey, okay. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Giant robots. Check it out. Check out the videos if you get a chance here. We got it uh, tweeted over on the social medias as well. So I'd be, I'd be nervous to be in the bot. If we're, doing, if we're doing hand-to-hand -hand yeah. combat, I don't know if I want to be in the bot. Yep. Right. They, they also have to, like, formulate what are the rules of this? Like, how do you win, you know? Um, or does this just become the karate kid? You sweep the leg. Sweep the, <laughs> sweep the leg? <laughs> Only one of them has legs, so it has an advantage. So, so Kenny, what do you think of this? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> There's rules like no hitting in the face or the generals or... I hope this becomes an Olympic sport. <laughs> Wouldn't that be like great? everyone sends their their robot to the Olympics to compete? 
but no, but in all seriousness, the the one thing that worries me is what are they going to make them where they're remote controlled so there's no pilot? Well, one of them, um, I think, I think the Japanese one actually does run off of a PC, like a laptop inside the machine. So you really could automate that. It'll probably be a little harder for the one that it takes two people. So. But I'm guessing you'd only need one person if you, there, there were no guns. True, true. Mm -hmm. well, he's the gunner, so yeah. unless that includes operating the arms, maybe? Like aiming and such, mm -hmm. so...